Open access refers to free and unrestricted access to research literature. But open access has many elements and variations, and when making your research open access, there is a lot to consider. The Open Access Jargon Buster is a great resource developed by Sarah Humphreys from the Bodleian Social Science Library. By working through this Jargon Buster, we can begin to unravel the different routes to making your research open access. Firstly, when initially creating your research, or it could be termed your manuscript, paper or draft, it's best to ensure you have an ORCID. ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor ID. ORCIDs are free to create and give you a universal identifier for all of your works. Having an ORCID is just one of many potential funder requirements, so make sure you've considered and understood all of your funders' requirements at the start of your research process. You may also be thinking about the pre-registration of your research. This is where you specify your research plan in advance of your study, improving the transparency of your research and helping others who may wish to build upon your results or methods. You will also need to think about the publication route you wish to follow from the start of your research, as this will help you to tailor your work, increasing your chance of publication. In choosing your publication route, you will need to be confident of the copyright license involved. Make sure you know who will own the copyright at the end of the publication route you choose, as well as the level of restriction you may want to attach to your work, and think about any future implications these decisions may bring. Once you have thought about all of these aspects, and of course completed the research, you will be ready to submit your work to a journal. You also have the option at this stage to upload a preprint version to a preprint server. A preprint is the version of your research before it has been peer reviewed. By uploading this version to a preprint server, you can gain visibility for both yourself and your paper, and may receive some useful feedback from other researchers in your area. Once your work has been submitted to a journal, the publisher will send it for review. The peer review process can be lengthy and may include back and forth between yourself and the reviewers as changes are made. When the revisions are agreed between yourself and the reviewers, your paper goes back to the publisher where it will then be accepted for publication. This version of the paper that has been accepted for publication then becomes the manuscript after peer review, also known as the author accepted manuscript final peer-reviewed version, postprint or AAM. We'll come back to this version later. A copyright license will then be assigned to your paper. Depending upon the journal and the agreement you have signed with this journal, this could mean that you no longer own the copyright to your article. In open access publishing, you will retain the copyright and a Creative Commons license will be assigned to your work. Creative Commons licenses vary in their levels of restriction but the most common is a Creative Commons Attribution Licence, also known as a CC BY Licence. Under the terms of this licence, your research can be reused and adapted freely, but full attribution has to be given to yourself as the original author. The publisher will then copy edit your paper. This means final quality control checks for problems such as type errors and reference inaccuracy are carried out before the journal formatting is added to the paper. It is then ready for publication. This version is known as the formatted or edited manuscript, publisher's version, version of record, or VOR. If you are publishing in a subscription journal, this version will then be behind a paywall. This means individuals will either need to pay to read the article or will need to be affiliated with an institution that has a subscription to the journal. This is known as the traditional publishing route. Under this model, in some cases, publishers make the paper freely available for a restricted period of time. This is sometimes known as bronze open access, though this does not reflect the true nature of open access publishing. If you are publishing your work open access, there are three potential routes for the version of record. Two of these routes include an article processing charge, also known as an APC. This means that you, or your funder or institution, pay a fee to the journal to allow your paper to be available open access. If you pay an APC, your paper will either be being submitted as hybrid open access or gold open access. Hybrid open access means your work is in a subscription journal, but you have paid an APC for your individual paper to be open access. 
This means that while most of the research in this journal will be behind a paywall, your paper will be freely available online. Gold open access means that the entire journal is open access. As mentioned, some journals charge an APC or article processing charge to those publishing their work in these journals. However, there is also an alternative route to publishing in a gold open access journal where no APC is needed. This is known as the diamond or platinum route. The final route available when publishing open access takes us back to the author accepted manuscript that was mentioned earlier. This version of your research paper can be deposited in a digital repository. This can be an institutional repository, like the Essex Research Repository, or a subject-based or central repository, like PubMed or Archive. Depositing your work in this way is known as green open access. In many cases, research published via the green route has to be under embargo for a certain amount of time. This means the full text of the article is not available in the repository until this time, which usually ranges from 3 to 12 months, is over allowing the publisher to retain a monopoly on the article. In summary, there are five main routes to publishing your research. The traditional publishing model, diamond open access, gold open access, hybrid open access, or green open access. Decisions about which route to follow need to be made as early as possible in the publishing process, alongside other considerations, such as creating an ORCID, funder requirements, and copyright. Further information about open access can be found in our Open Research Guide.